um, back again with another update. So as you can see, the boys are back in their old cage. Um, yeah, I got bit by Ragnar. There he is, right by there. Um, while well, he was in the new cage. And they were getting a lot more um, feisty with each other while they were in the new cage. Like, they were fighting quite a lot. I'm not sure if it's because they can smell the girls or if it's just because it was a new environment or the cage was so big. And because it's just the two of them, they didn't really see each other that much. So when they did, they were just kind of like clashing. So I decided to put them back in this cage and I have now sold the cage on to somebody that has a ferret. Which is much better because um, it wasn't really suitable for them anyway. So yeah, so the update is that they are back in this cage. Not much I could really do about it. So I would not suggest an RCO2 Cozy Pet cage in the UK for rats. The RCO1 is much better. Also, they're still being very, very nippy and feisty. I don't quite understand why. It could well be it's because they can still smell the girls, but I don't think that's it. They don't really seem too interested in the ladies. There's Ragnar, the little boy. After he bit me, he did, um, I think he realised. Because I put my hand back in just to be certain that he knew and that he wasn't going to do it again. And he didn't. He just kind of like kissed me where he'd bit. And there's Rolo. I don't know, I haven't really checked Rolo over and I don't see any visible wounds. So I'm not entirely sure if it's more of a domestic sort of boxing fight that they're doing and Rolo is just being very, um, very loud about it. Because it does seem as though Rolo is the one that, um, gets beat on. Like Ragnar just... <laughs> but as I say, I don't see any wounds. They've got... They got some porphyrin going on around their nose, but that's just to be expected, really, because they're rats. So, I'm not entirely sure. I am thinking of maybe getting them both neutered now and just saving up, finding out how, how much it would be in, like, the vets, because the vets I was previously at, they are now closing down tomorrow, so I won't be able to... Um, put them in there and I know it was like I think it was 60 pound for a rat to be neutered so it'd be 120 for both a lot of money so um, I'm not sure if that was cheap or expensive so I'll have to find out with another uh, veterinary place around my area that will hopefully hopefully actually uh, take rats because <laughs> I guess maybe some places don't me hey. So yeah, that's the update, is that they're being naughty. My child is now shouting at me. He's still nice, he's a good boy. You know, he's he's really good. But um, I'm not sure what's happened. But he's just suddenly gotten very, um, very domestic, well, domestic, d very domestic abuse <laughs> towards, um, towards Rolo. <laughs> Power grooming me. Uh, so I think maybe, and if I get them neutered, at least I know they both can go in with the girls. They can, they can be quarantined for three weeks to make sure that they're sterile. And then I could just introduce them to the girls properly without having to worry about babies. And it'll take away all this little anger you got going on, huh? All this teenage angst you got going on. Yes, don't bite me. Eh? Again, get in. Come on, you're, gear, you're getting naughty. And I think it may also be because he just wants to get to the girls. Because he's getting more used to the smell, he knows the girls are somewhere. So it could be that. I'm not sure. We'll see. So there's Ragnar, the naughty boy. Get in. He, he's overconfident. He's too confident for his own good, I find. Get in. <laughs> it's kind of like lock him there and yes Rolo has yet to um, come out of his shell still we've had them for a oh, what day is it today? Tuesday so we've had them a week and one day 
And yeah, he'll allow you to touch him. He still doesn't want to get picked up, nothing like that. But he'll allow you to touch him. He doesn't like getting picked up either. But he loves the mildhood from like, I don't know, just being around someone. And that might be why he's getting so boisterous. He wants more out time, as you can see. But I can't give him as much out time as what he expects. Because I have a child that will probably sit on him. <laughs> and most of the time they're sleeping in the day. They're still in the nighttime sort of routine. Also, this ledge here was from the um, Cozy Pet cage. I kind of just took it because there was loads of ledges with it. Because they needed to have a kitchen that um, was away from the floor. Not that it matters too much because they've managed to push out a bunch of cardboard from their stomach. And that's why he's using the bottle because the water is probably dirty. Anyway, um, yeah, that is the update. The boys are back into their small cage and that they will most likely get neutered once I save up enough money and I make some inquiries from the vets. So, thanks for watching with the boys. Um, I'll give you a small update with the girls. So with the girls, I mean, they're all just kind of snuggled. Another thing that's happened, it's happened today very recently, if you can see that little line on my finger, Pepper decided that she wanted to bite me today and she kept trying to bite me so I've been roughhousing her to try and like tell her off haven't I? yes oh what's wrong huh? they don't like I think it may be again because of the boys she doesn't want she doesn't like the smell of the boys when I put the cage next to their cage she was very vocal like really vocal so yeah that's what Peppa's done so I've had two of the new bunch bite me which is Peppa and Ragna he bit me <laughs> which if you can see I oh, can't quite see it oh never mind it's fine anyway yeah he bit me between my thumb by the and there he just latched on and refused to let go so i just had to like just stand there with him on to, on my arm until he uh until he let go on his own so there's the girls they are all just kind of um piled into this Let's see if i can get around here um i don't know whose back that is i think that might be nala's <laughs> Ah, oh, they're cute. So yeah, the girls are doing good. Um, Nala is coming out of her shell a lot more. Buffy, that's not Buffy, that's Ami. Ami's also coming out of her shell. Michiru loves to play. Peppa loves to play so much that she likes to bite. And um, I think that's it. And Buffy, you just very rarely see, as you can tell. Like, you see Ami the most. And then down here, we have my Luna. Yes, you're going to come up and say hello. Regardless of all the biting I've been experiencing <laughs> and all the fights the boys have been having and the girls, Pepper and Willow. I don't understand. They, the ones that fight the most also snuggle the most. It's ridiculous. But yeah, Pepper and Willow have been going at it with each other. Same as Ragnar and Rolo. <laughs> She's so pretty. She is such a sweet girl. Yes, you are. Yeah, I've been, I've been to see the boys. Yeah. Yes. With the way they're going, you'll be in the cage with them soon. Yes. I'll get them neutered and then you can all live happily together. Because this cage is big enough for ten rats. Considering you got eight of them by that. <laughs> My good girl. So yeah, that's uh, all the updates I can give. Um... I guess that's everything I can say. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I hope if any of you are going through um, having males and females, you're not having a, such a hard time as me with fighting and dominance. <laughs>